Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I'm doing a much request, requested uh, true crime on the Delphi murders. Now, uh, the reason I've been kind of dragging my heels on this reading is because I quite frankly didn't know too much about them. As I've explained many times, I don't watch Fox News and I don't watch TV in general. I honestly don't. So when you don't watch the news, there's some of these things that somehow slip by. So I'm going to use the investigation deck and the predictions deck for this reading on the Delphi murder. So I'm going to do the investigation and then we're going to do the prediction what's going to happen. So for those of you who are like me and don't know what the Delphi murders are, it's actually a very sad story. Two uh, little young ladies, Abigail Williams and Liberty German, um, went for a hike on February 13th, 2017. And it's called the Delphi Murders because they were near the Monroe High Bridge Trail, part of the Delphi Historic Trails in Delphi, Indiana, United States. And they went hiking and Apparently it's, you know, quite a nice place to hike, quite safe. And the father was supposed to pick them up at 3.15. Both these girls were only 13 years old. And the father was supposed to pick them up at 3.15. And when they didn't show up by 5.30, he, he called authorities. All right. Now, this case has, so this was 2017. This case has just gone to court this month in October. Um, now, what happened was they believe, the police believe that the girls were murdered sometimes between, on February 13th between 2.07 and 5.30 p.m. based on um, Liberty. Well, that's another thing I found very interesting about these girls. Abigail Joyce Williams was called Abby and Liberty Rose Lynn Libby German was called Libby, and I find that interesting. Both girls went by nicknames that ended in BBY, and maybe that's why they were uh, such good friends. So, what they've what Libby was smart that she took pictures around, and when this man approached them, she pressed record on her phone. And that's how they know what time the girls had passed away. They didn't find the girls until the next day on February 14th. And um, it nobody could recognize the person on her phone. They didn't release how the girls died. Uh, there was a lot of things in the investigation. And nearly six years later, they finally um, has started the trial. Now, the, on October 26, 2022, a suspect was taken into custody. And on October 31st of that same year, he was charged with two accounts of murder. And that arrest was the first major break in a case that captivated national attention for nearly six years. And the trial started on October 18th, uh, 2024 of this year. And that's why only information now is being released uh, like the cause of death, the girl's uh, throats were slit. Uh, one girl was found completely naked. Uh, one, one girl, the other girl had the wrong clothes on. Uh, so at some point, she was also naked. And uh, that's about all I wanted to read, to tell you the truth. And so let's find out. This man can, says he's innocent, even though they have lots of. I'm just realizing these are all mixed up, even though they have lots of evidence against him. Uh, for example, uh, they there was a bullet from his gun found near the bodies, even and it was unspent. It was unspent, and they said they could trace it somehow to his gun. And the, the girls were, were murdered by their throats being slit. And there's just... 
I don't know, like he fits the description. There was a couple of witnesses said this man was kind of following the girls. And this man that they have, uh, Richard Allen, just hang on here. Um, sorry. Yeah, I think his name's Richard Allen. And he claims that he's innocent. Okay. I gotta take a deep breath for this. Some of these... Uh, Some of these are really hard on me. So that's another reason why if you're asking me, do this one, do that one. Um, these really affect me. I don't mind doing them, but, uh, you know, if you live in this crime day in, day out, the energies that you pick up on, especially when it's young children, because they are children, they're 13. Um... Okay, I'm trying to clear my head. I don't want my upsetness. Okay, so first let's ask if they have the correct person. Okay, he maintains, he's, he, um, he maintains, yeah, I was there, I was watching the fish. <laughs> uh, who goes to a bridge to watch fish? And yet, witnesses said they saw him with blood and mud on his clothing. And he said, oh, the girls were there with, with another girl. So let's see, who's telling the truth here? Who's telling the truth? Do they have the right man? Do they have the right man? Do they have a right man? Cards are ready. Star, hidden clues, breakthrough. Hidden clues, breakthrough. Crime of opportunity. Yeah, he happened to be on the bridge. He saw two young girls. Drain or waterway. Well, yeah, they were found. That was in reverse. They were found laying in the river. Um, and on one of the recordings, like it's really muffled sound. So she must have had her phone on in her pocket or something. And it, and you could hear him saying down the hill. So they went down the hill to the river. DNA evidence. Ooh. Oh. See the, the, they've been very quiet. Like they didn't release the how the girls died. Uh, they didn't release, you know, how they were found. Uh, there was a lot of things they didn't release because they didn't want to. Um, it was getting such national attention. They didn't want to attract, you know, loonies or whatever. But apparently there's going to be some DNA evidence. Now, if the girls were found naked, I wonder if there is some kind of um, fingernail, skin under the fingernails, that kind of thing that they just simply haven't announced. We have to remember this trial just started October 18th. They expect it to go anywhere from two weeks to a month. Wheel of Fortune payback. Payback. Wheel of Fortune. I think it's like this crime of opportunity, Wheel of Fortune, payback. DNA evidence. I think there might be, they might end up with some kind of surprise DNA evidence. I did not know the girls were found naked. That's just something I read about this morning. 
And uh, so if they are and they were um, attacked, there's very good chance there's like a hair, uh, skin under the fingernails, um, like a sperm, right? Drugged or poisoned. Oh, wonder if he was like, hey, I'm going to have the, you know, uh, I got some beer, right? Almost looks like what he's wearing in the picture that she has on her phone. Repeat offender. I'm getting, like, we're getting, like, one person here. Rumors behind your back. There was a lot of rumors that it was him. And he actually had the gall to live in the community for five years in plain sight. So he's a repeat offender. So I wonder if they're going to find, if they do DNA, that there's other um, cold cases, drugged or poisoned. And, you know, and that's usually the way. Um, I wonder if we're going to find that in the autopsies because they were found within um, 24 hours. So it, there wasn't much decom decomposition. And I wonder if they're going to find like they were, there was some kind of drugs in their system. How does one person fight off two girls? Like, and I know they're just uh, young girls, but two, or two, like you think, kicking and punching and slapping and screaming two at the same time. If, if you take your hand off of one, uh, the other one now has opportunity, right, to run away. So I wonder if there is going to be something about drugs that they that he slipped a maybe maybe they he even said, "Hey, girls want to pop or something like that," and or soda, I guess he'd say in the states. And there was some something in there that knocked them out. That would make sense. Cannot see clearly. Yeah. Um, I think he knocked, I think he knocked out one, I think he knocked them out with something. I had to get away. Well, I think one, I think one tried to get away. I had to get away. I think one, one got away. I think, I think that there was some kind of poisoning or drugging. Um, I don't know if it would have been alcohol. I don't think the girls would have gone for, let's go for a beer. They're only 13. Um, I But I could see, you know, do you want to pop? Do you want to go down the hill? And I've got a cooler there of pop or something. And uh, one tried to get away. I think one tried to get away. World, end of situation or ruin. Well, it says it's a very well-known um, well, end of situation or buried. I think that, I think they're going to find this guy guilty. And I think that, I think they have the right person. And actually, I think what they're going to do is they're also going to find out he is a repeat offender. Missing, searching, yeah, for, for a long time. Two crimes connected, yeah, the two girls. But here also with the two crimes connected and the repeat offender, empress, mother, mother figure, empathy. So I wonder if he has mummy issues. I wonder if they're going to find out something about his mother. Running out of time. Strategy and planning. Tunnel or underground. Yeah, you know what? We aren't getting that this was a group effort. We're getting like it's just one person, one person, one person. Um, I think that like his strategy and planning, I think I wouldn't be surprised if he got them down the hill because that was one of the quotes that was clearly heard on the phone is down the hill. The voice of the suspect, although muffled, is heard to say down the hill. So why other reason would he get those girls to go down the hill? Perhaps he said he had a cooler of pop and some chips and snacks and stuff. And they're just down the hill. Why don't you come down the hill and, uh, and you know, share these or whatever. Um, because that, that would be the strategy and, and planning that he had to 
watch for somebody, young girls or people, young, women walking alone and to get them downstairs, downstairs, down the hill, uh, drug them and, um, and then do what he wanted to do his sick, twisted mind. I think one did try to get away. And uh, perhaps that's the one who's wearing the wrong shirt. Um, maybe she grabbed that shirt to put something on and, and start to run. That's what I'm, I'm seeing. That's why it's the wrong shirt. Because she didn't want to run away completely nude. But this running out of time, um, I wonder if that has to do with, um, you know, evidence of DNA. Um, maybe this fellow here is, is, you know, would vanish into the, into a country where they would never find him. Maybe he had plans to leave the whole area. His mother has something to do with it. His mother has something to do with it. I think there's another girl that, um, cause we have two crimes connected, missing, searching, and he's a repeat offender. I think they, they need to look at other girls in the area that are possibly around the same age. This looks like a very young girl. This isn't, look at the difference. This isn't a well-developed lady. Um, I, and he's a repeat offender. So this could be somebody who has never been found because it's missing and searching. Um, and the two crimes are connected. And his mother knows something. His mother knows something. Maybe the mother is a witness and running out of time. Perhaps the mother is not well. This man is fit now 52 years old. So his mother would be, if, you know, let's say 20 years old when average, um, let's say she's already into her seventies. So maybe that's what it's running out of time is, uh, maybe the mother has some information, you know, he came home and I had to wash his jeans, right? Um, or maybe the mother's like saying, oh no, he was home. He was here making me supper or something. There's something with the mother that they had. They're, they're running out of time. I believe there's going to be some kind of DNA evidence that they're going to maybe surprise. Well, I guess they can't because they have to disclose all the, all the evidence that they have. But I think here, this star and wheel of fortune, hidden clues, breakthrough. I think there's still something else on her phone um, that, that was just so fortunate that she was smart enough to um to take a picture or to press record and apparently there is there'll be more graphic pictures and whatnot um presented in court but is this guy guilty 100 percent, 100 percent. and he's not only guilty of this one he's guilty of another one he's a repeat offender at least one other girl because we have two crimes connected so if there's been a missing girl in the area um, or, you know, so pro approximately the same age, uh, I, I hope that they're, they're looking at all of that, especially if they have his DNA and uh, run that through. Ah, tunnel or underground. I think he like took them under the bridge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's get the prediction going. So the, the cards are saying, yes, it's him. And this isn't the only one. When that's what my sources are telling me, right? Because this is just a, a card reading. I'm not a lawyer or a, a part of the legal enforcement. I'm just telling you what my cards are, are telling me. We're just creating a, a story from my sources. So let's see what's the predictions. What's going to happen? What's the predictions? Is he going to get off? Is, is Are they going to go away? I'm not sure if Indiana is a uh, end of life kind of place. 
Uh, every state is different. Let's see, what are the predictions for this guy? I'm really glad I'm really not saying his name correctly. I want that energy. If you want to uh, Google it, um, Okay, I just want to re reiterate here. They were not found under the bridge. They were found uh, about a half a mile east of the bridge. And the bodies were found on the north bank of Deer Creek. So I think um, something happened under the bridge and then somehow he got them a half a mile. Maybe he gave them something and then they could walk for a half mile and before they were out or he, or I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out during the trial if he dragged the bodies there or whatever. I guess they also found some creepy pictures. He has pictures of his own daughter there. So he knew young girls hung out there. So that's what I'm saying. He's a repeat offender. Let's see, what's the um, prediction? What's going to happen to this fellow? Is he going to be let off on the technicality? Is that what the running out of time is? Some of the evidence? Um, are they going to uh, send him to jail? Are they going to send him to night-night? What's going on? What's going to go on with this guy? What's the predictions? that's going to happen to the fellow they have. Oh, clock is ready. The fellow that they have in custody. Returns to normal. Maybe that's the, maybe returns to normal. That almost looks like the jacket he was wearing. Stay put. Uprooted, taken out. I wonder if this returns to normal is the uh, community. Now that they have somebody in custody, he's been charged, and now finally people can breathe easy, uh, that their their children are, are safe. Replace or exchange? Drone strike. Hmm. What's uprooted, taken out? Replace or exchange and drone strike. Stay put. I wonder if he's going to get it in jail. Controlled narrative, stay put. I think he's going to get a, a basic um, sentencing. Uh, um, banking currency kind of floods heavy rain this is where banking currency I wonder if there's a hit on him uprooted taken out with money here I wonder if, if there's a, a hit on him. Replace or exchange. Floods, heavy rain. I wonder if something happens to him in the showers. Or I don't think they have pools. Um, I'm wondering if he better be careful when he goes for a shower. I think he's going to get a basic. Like I know sometimes a judge, you know, can give an extra amount of time or above and beyond because it's so heinous, but then there's just an appeal for it. Um, our family was involved in a murder, um, and uh, we were our, um, we were on the side of the young man who was murdered, and the judge wanted to give the perpetrator more time 
He gave him the maximum that was allowed under the law. And he said, I'd really like to give you more, but I know if I give you more, there'll just be an appeal for it. And I know the family of this murdered soul is not going to be happy with what I give, but my, my hands are tied. And I think this is what's going to exactly happen. I think the judge will give the maximum, but not one day more because there will be, um, it'll just be appealed. And then who knows, maybe they can get off. And then, but I think there, I think there's going to be, um, there's going to be bounty on his head. Disaster wreckage. All for money. Yeah, there's going to be a bounty on his head. Moon, no, unclear. Sun, yes, positive. <laughs> okay, thank you, cards. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. I think the judge is going to give him... I think there might be some kind of disappointment. I'm not getting that he's going to be set free. I think he's going to get, like, stay put, the narrative. Uh, I think... I think what's going to happen is he's going to go into um, into jail. And I think, I, I actually think there's money on his head. I honestly do. Holding power, uprising rebellion. I think though, I think there might be a stink about what he gets. Worldwide Earth, Royal Family, Tsunami, Rising Water, and Floods here. I think I think Royal Family here, I don't think Royal Family has anything to do with this, but the holding power in the Royal Family here, I think is the prosecutor and the judge. And I think there might be a big outpour of, I don't think he's going to get maximum. I think it's just going to be a controlled narrative. And I think this uprising rebellion, I think we that's where we might find somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. And uh, that's where I think this drone strike is. Like, I think it's, well, we got now two water and there's there's no water, there's no swimming pools in, in jail or perhaps there are, I don't know. I don't believe there are. I think something's gonna happen to him in the shower somehow there's going to be something with water that happens to him and um i think that's what's going to happen that's my prediction so if he does go to jail i don't think he's going to last very long also i wonder if that's why we're running out of time um that uh i uh I just want to see the next card. Underground in hiding. That might be the the one that there might be like a buried body somewhere. Yeah, this this case is going to get worldwide attention and there will be some kind of uprising over over the over the prosecution and the judge. The tsunami rising water. And I well, I think there's Somebody is going to see it, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the the people in the jails will look after it for us. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just quickly, quickly ask here. Quickly ask. I'm really getting this feeling that he might get off on it. I just want to quickly ask, will, will he, or, or minor, um, you know, like interference in an investigation or something, will he be set free? Prepare, stock up. Was that prepare for Public life burnout. 
There's the two girls. I think there's going to be a big kerfuffle about this case for some reason. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please take good care and thank you in advance for your likes. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>